So verbs. A verb is a word that expresses action or a state of being and is necessary to make a statement. And specifically, an action verb tells what someone or something does. And within action verbs, you can classify these as transitive or intransitive. And a transitive verb is an action verb and it's followed by a word or words that answer the questions what or whom. Whereas an intransitive verb is not followed by words that answer the question what or whom. Let's go through a few examples. Number one here, our action verb is sings. And if this was a transitive action verb, it would the words that follow would answer what Kathleen Battle sings. The national anthem, the opera, whatever. Instead, it answers how by saying amazingly well. That's why this is an intransitive verb. Fought is our next action verb. Does the black ants answer what the right ants fought? Yes, it answers what, so it's transitive. Plays is an action verb, and rugby answers what my aunt plays, so it's transitive. Flew is an action verb, but slowly describes how the hawk flew, which makes it intransitive. Saw is an action verb, and the horse answers the question what everyone saw, which makes it transitive. Watched is an action verb, and does this answer what 20,000 people watched? No. It says how they watched, intransitive. Heard is the action verb in the next one, and that new song, though it's not super specific, is a transitive, makes heard a transitive verb, because it answers the question what. And number eight here, we see elected as our action verb, and we get one finally that answers the question whom, still transitive. Recorded is an action verb. What follows? Well, what they recorded, which makes it transitive. Here is an action verb. Does it say what the dogs hear or how they hear? How, so it's intransitive. The next type of verb we are classifying is linking verb. And a linking verb links or joins the subject of a sentence with a word or expression that identifies or describes that subject. Most common, be in all its forms. Am, is, are, was, were, been, being. And other ones are these sensory linking verbs like look, sound, feel, seem, appear, taste. And then these kind of state of being or transformational uh, linking verbs like grow, remain, stay, or become. Just a few examples. In number one, was is our linking verb. It links Kennedy to president. Number two, was is again our linking verb. It links he to child. And then we also see seemed, and it links life to easy. Appeared links Kennedy to the word eager. Became links John to the word author. Is links why England slept to account. And number six, grew links events to bleaker. So remember these three different categories of linking verbs. States of being, that's be in all its form. Am, is, are, was, were, been, being. Transformations, such as growing, becoming, or even remaining or staying the same. As well as the sensory linking verbs, looking, sounding, feeling, seeming, appearing, or tasting. Finally, verb phrases. As a verb in a sentence may consist of more than one word. We have our main verb, and then in front of that we have auxiliary or helping verbs. The first group of these, forms of be and have, are probably the most common auxiliary verbs, and they help to express time. They are going, or they have gone. They had been going. There's a dozen different cases where it's ongoing, past progressive, past continuous, etc., etc., etc. And these auxiliary verbs help to distinguish exactly when a particular verb started, whether it's ongoing or not. The second category, often called modal verbs, are verbs that identify necessity or possibility. So can, could, may, might, shall, sh will, do, does, did, must, should, 
or would. Notice these two types can be combined. As in, she should be arriving. Be has to do with time, and should has to do with necessity. Another important thing to remember is that sometimes our verb phrase might be interrupted by a subject or a pronoun, such as she, she that is not part of the verb phrase, or similarly might be interrupted by an adverb. Let's try to identify whether or not verbs in each of these sentences are auxiliary verbs. So, no one has been more successful in auto races than Richard Petty. Has been is our verb phrase. Has is functioning as an auxiliary verb. Was known is another verb phrase. Was is functioning as an auxiliary verb. Are is just a typical linking verb. May appear is an auxiliary verb. May and then a typical verb appear. Number five, have had. Notice this always is an adverb that's not part of the verb phrase. Number six is just your standard linking verb, have. Number seven, was winning. This auxiliary verb was gives us a sense of time. Had crossed. Had, an auxiliary verb, helps express time. Number nine is a little bit tricky. Did crash has to do with inverting because of a question. And we have an adverb, ever, as well as our subject, Richard Petty. For number 10, was involved gives us a sense of when this involvement happened. And one is just a simple verb. Did go is number 12. If we're writing this as a statement, we would say Richard Petty's great success did go to his head. So, forming the question, the verb phrase is broken up. Remained. Just a simple verb. 14. Thousands of fans have visited his headquarters in Level Cross, North Carolina. Have visited is a verb phrase. Have, the auxiliary verb, helps to express time. For number 15, is is just a linking verb. Number 16, watching is just an action verb. For number 17, can be is our verb phrase. Also is functioning here as an adverb. Had been, is following, should attend. So auxiliary verbs serve two primary functions. The be and have verbs, the most common, help to express time. Then the modal verbs, can, could, may, might, shall, will, do, does, did, must, should, would, help to express both necessity or possibility. Always these auxiliary verbs go in front of our main verb, and there can be more than one.